kind of wish there was a way to auto size this to fit the bars, but um, uh, what are you going to do? Anyway, welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2, everyone. Okay. So, we've beaten here. We've beaten hero mode. We've beaten dark mode. There's only one thing left. Story select. Finish the story. Let's begin. received a message from my boss. This space colony arc is currently approaching the Earth at an incredible velocity. It probably will impact Earth. What's that on the screen? This is a death sentence for every human being on Earth. If my calculations are correct, the Space Colony Arc will impact the Earth in 27 minutes and 53 seconds. All of you will be destroyed, along with your beloved planet Earth. Stop it right now, or else... I'd have done this a long time ago if I had the chance. What do you mean? You're pretty persistent for a hedgehog, aren't you? You're still alive. <laughs> Just letting Knuckles pilot the shuttle on the way over here was more dangerous than you could ever be. What is this? This is my grandfather's diary. I don't quite know what happened or what went wrong. Was it a mistake to create the ultimate life form? I thought it would be something that would benefit mankind, but then the military guards landed on the colony that day. They were sent to destroy the research project that I had been working on. My colleagues at the research facility, my granddaughter, Maria, I hope you are all safe. The colony, the colony was completely was shut down, down, probably to probably keep the prototype, keep the prototype from prototype falling into the wrong hands. Into the wrong hands. The ark was shut down under the premise that there had been an accident. I found Maria's name among those who died when the ark was shut down. She meant everything to me, and I couldn't bear the thought that she died because of my research. I lost everything. I had nothing more to live for. I went insane. All I could think about was to avenge her. Somehow, some way. I got scared as I no longer was able to control my thoughts. All I could think about was that I wanted it 
Based on my original projections, I was able to complete my project, Shadow. I designed its mind to be perfect, pure. I will leave everything to him. If you wish, release and awaken it if to the world. If you wish to fill the world with destruction, so that's why you released Shadow from the base. Oh, Eclipse Cat is now highly reactive and explosive. This is because the Chaos Emerald is overpowered. If the colony collides with Earth, it will shatter it into pieces like my grandfather freaking. That mad scientist! That should be you, right? We have to stop the space colony now! The space colony may have shifted due to the amount of energy given off by the emeralds. We have to stop the energy. But how? Hmm, that's it. There is a way to stop the energy. We have to use your emerald. You're the one that told me that the master emerald has the power to stop the chaos emerald. That's right. If I use this, I just might be able to stop the chaos emerald. The reaction of the Chaos Emeralds is moving toward the cannon's core! It may be too late! There still may be some time left. If we pull together, we might be able to get to the shortcut that leads to the core. Final stage, system counters alert. core. System alert. The intruder has breached the system area. So yeah, massive plot dump, but that just makes this a little bit more epic in my opinion. Okay. Alright, so much okay. yeah. So for this final stage, we're playing as everyone. Both, both the heroes and the dark characters. And I'm already getting my ass handed to me a bit. Now, even though like this is the final um uh, story, this is actually the shortest one as well. Oop. Nope. Really? That's a thing. This is faster. Also, get used to these time switches. You have to hit these a lot in order to deactivate a lot of things that will get in the way. It's, in addition, it also freezes every enemy on sight. Damn it, I thought I could... <laughs> Sonic! Okay. Ah, damn it. All right, let's try that again. Okay. Come on, I fell for that twice. Okay. And it's good to know that nothing much has changed. to destroy those as I'm hovering down. Hurry up, hurry up. Thank you. 
Ah, damn it, come on. System alert. On? Ah. I know this is the final stage, but I'm dying for stupid reasons that I shouldn't be dying to. Take a hit over taking a death. <laughs> that was close. Plus, though, it does freeze the in-game timer as well. So if you're trying to get a good score... Um, uh, wouldn't be a bad idea. So, um, uh, keep hitting those. Now, anyway, destroy the store. We're officially done as Tails. Yep, we play as all... You play as every character in one stage. Yeah, pretty damn cool if I, if I say so myself. The only character we don't play as in this is Shadow, and that will be explained later. Oh, come on, come on, don't start this now. hate those guys because they're so annoying to fight, especially in the egg robots. Well, especially in the, um, uh, mechs, sorry. At least these ones are a little easier to beat. Alright, yeah, freezing them in time um, uh, makes them vulnerable. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, I did that too soon. Also, that noise is just pleasant to the ears. arrows going up, so yeah, here we go. Okay, I need to be careful, because I'm... So I'm very low on health. Bollocks! Ah, right, no checkpoints in between any of these. Oh, this is gonna suck. Whoa! Oh, the plus that thing can only fire once. <laughs> ah, 
Nice. Okay, definitely doing a lot better this time. I'm hoping not to die too much, because of that. Here's me, like, this story is about at the shortest. And I kind of want to get it finished in a reasonable time. Also, yeah, that's kind of dickish. Like, you need to be extra quick in order to get to that door. I don't think there's anything there besides maybe a chow box and some animals. Maybe an extra life, I don't know. But either way, it doesn't matter. There's no um uh I mean, there's there's no free things to collect. It's actually very linear, but you need to use your, you need to use your exploration skills to um, uh, pretty much figure out where to go. And frankly, it's pretty straightforward in itself, but you do need to take advantage of their abilities. Alright. Alright, so with this, it's not letting me rotate the camera, thank you. Alright, yeah. I can go through here now. Yeah. Now, the things are going too fast for you to get by, so use the switch. Darn it. Double darn it. This one is actually the fastest. Well, the shortest one, to be exact. Unless you do this, we have to wait. All right, you need to stop the. You need to stop time for that. in hero mode, I highly recommended that you get the air necklace. This is exactly why. 90% of Knuckles' level is underwater. And it's possible to do it without it. It's just really, really hard. 
So, it, I've, sh I've shown where to get the air necklace. There are plenty of guides to tell you as well. Damn it! Really? Actually, and I don't even think it's this one. No, it is. Okay. Yeah, thanks to this air necklace, I can breathe indefinitely. So this bit isn't too hard. You just need to be quick. And patient. Go, 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 go. Wait, I could have sworn... Oh, did I go the wrong way? Or is there something I'm missing? I've actually went the wrong way. Damn it. I'm, I must have went the wrong way, but I, cu I couldn't see anywhere else where I could go. Oh wait, unless stopping time stops those lasers. No, it doesn't. Keyword fake. This, keep in mind, it's been so long since I last played this game to full. There we go. Yeah, that's what I was missing. Sorry about that. If I somehow get an, if I somehow get an A rank on this, I'll I'll, I'll be surprised because I, I died so many times. All right, so unfortunately we can't fight underwater, which I, I guess suppose makes sense because you've got a lot of weight to you while you're underwater. I guess that's the point of this bomb here. And the time switch is over there. Now, this is the longest clock, so you have to be stupid. Oh, that's not that's not long enough. But like I said, imagine doing this without the air necklace. It's not impossible. I've seen someone do this without it, but that's way too much. Damn it! Ah, oh, so close. Ah. Oh, my God. 
Last one, Sonic. I knew these would come in handy. Ready, go. And that. I completely forgotten I had the magic hand, so it's a good thing I remembered at that point. Wait, what? Oh, come on! Enough of this... Enough of these traps! Homing attack. This is irritating. Camera. Gold robots. There we go. I was supposed to do that. Go the other side. I don't know. That feel that feels a bit like a, a beginner's trap. But. No, I'm not going to complain too much, because it'd be kind of pointless, too. Yes. That has to be an E. I played so bad. Barely made it. Yeah, I deserved that, honestly. 33 emblems. Now for why Shadow's not here. Oh, I hate it when they leave me behind. Look, it's Shadow. I really gotta stop whining. Everyone's trying their best to help out, and so must I. Shadow, we need you. Please help us. It's all going according to plan. There's no reason for me to help them. Besides, there's no way to save anyone. There has to be. I know that people fight over the most trivial things. Some people may be selfish, like the professor said. But they're basically good if they try their best and never give up on their wishes. They always have a reason to be happy. That's why you should help them out. Saving them is a good thing. Shadow, 
I beg you, please do it for them. Give them a chance. Shannon, I beg of you, please do it for me. Maria! For for all people who live on that planet, give them a chance to be happy. Let them live for their dreams. Shadow, I know you can do it. That's the reason why you were brought into this world. Sayonara. Shadow, the hedgehog. I promised her. And I must keep that promise. That's what Shadow? Maria wished for. I've got to go now. I have to keep my promise to Maria. And you. Here's where things get interesting. For some reason, the chaos emeralds got moved here. What's that? It looks just like the shrine of the Master Emerald. They probably designed the core like the shrine to harness the power of the chaos emeralds. So the reports that um, uh, Rouge saw that she thought um, uh, was the real Shadow was in fact the prototype. Don't know how the hell they went from uh, a giant lizard to a black hedgehog, but I'm kind of glad. Also, that one river there is kind of a dick move, because if you if you step into that, you're dead. So that's why I recommend to move actually a little slow. Hit this, grind and hit that. This is about that one of the most difficult bosses in the game, and one of the most, and one of the more annoying ones is at that. And for some reason, he growls like a tiger when he gets hit. I don't know. I don't know why. But this music is pretty sick. Yeah. So I'm, uh, I don't think it was portrayed perfectly well. But basically, Sha basically Shadow was created to help with um, uh, Maria's terminal illness. To find a way to um, uh, get, to find a way to cure her. However, a gun saw Shadow as a weapon, and they probably saw the Bio Lizard as well, which is why they attacked the station and tried and killed everyone to stop the research from getting out. In Gerald's last ditch effort, he reprogrammed Shadow's memories to um, uh, to get the Chaos Emeralds to kill everyone, to get his revenge. While Gerald was like trying to do the good thing, um, uh, the people on Earth didn't see that. So as a last-ditch effort, um, uh, he decides to just, yeah, they're not worth it, so kill them all. In addition, this isn't fully explored until um, uh, like I I believe um, uh, there's somewhere in the comics that might explain more of this or like or, like. Um, uh, various articles concerning the game. A lot, of, a lot of this is like left up to interpretation for the most part, but this is like the most general thing that's been said. Uh. Also, those shadow balls he likes to fire suck. Uh. And isn't Shadow a dark type? Shouldn't he be re resistant to these? <laughs> uh. Okay, yeah, I shouldn't be talking about Pokemon. Then again, I've been in a huge Pokemon craze lately. Okay, here's where things get a little bit ball. You need to homing attack your way to the core. Promises that those bubbles 
um, uh, reach for you, or, uh, like they'll zoom in on you, so less actually gets closer to the core, making it more difficult to aim for, especially with your homing attack not being the most reliable thing. Yeah. To tell you the truth, though, I've always found Shadows to be one of the most interesting characters in the Sonic the Hedgehog series. Like, albeit like very dark and probably um uh, not really fit for a, um for a series like Sonic, but I kind of appreciate that. It's like, yeah, the Sonic series should be more lighthearted and should be more set, set for kids. But I feel like the dark elements that they used for Shadow, I think, are just are just fun. Also, I have to do this without any rings, so this is gonna suck! Right, I don't have the light dash. Sorry. I died in a cutscene because I let go of the spin dash and crashed into him. I was doing so well! Oh, shit. Yeah, as Omicha said, pretty much that core is the only way to hurt him, which, you know, kind of a big fat dirt there. I will also say, like, Amy's, um, uh, convinced... Amy trying to convince Shadow, um, uh, to, to help them. I'm gonna be openly real, like, looking back at that, that felt a little, uh, like, poor on her part. I mean, granted, it's a game in 2002, so... Really? So, I'm not exactly expecting sophisticated writing from A, that era, and B, from a Sonic game. But if I want to be honest, I'm, uh, and this is probably a very unpopular opinion, but it feels like Sonic X did it better. Because not only does Shadow actively argue back, I'm, uh, I think I'm, uh, when Chris was trying to convince him, I feel like he made a better point. But... I don't know, it's been a while since I've seen that, and odds are that's an unpopular opinion regardless, so I'm, uh, you know, what are you gonna do? But I'm one of very few people who unironically likes that show. I thought it was really good. But you can't deny, like, um, anime recreations of, of the two most popular Sonic games at, at that time was really good. I I kind of wish they continued and did more, but I, I can kind of get why they didn't. Still, Alpha Elephant from, from Sonic X to come out, like, the best thing was Mike Pollock as the voice of Dr. Eggman. Like, I, he's about to have the best VA you've ever had for him. It's like, he can do the serious and the comedic sides of him very well. Okay, I shouldn't grab any more rings. I need to save them in case I take a hit. Also, it is possible to, like, um, uh, get slugged by those while you're in the middle of your homing attack and have it either interrupt or hit you. Not many people enjoy this boss battle for very good reasons. Solo, it, it's kind of... Some might say that, that um, uh, this thing is, like, a little out of nowhere. But to be fair, the true villain was Gerald, and, well, he's dead. He died 50 years ago. He was... Well, it wasn't classified. He was executed. Rings. Rings. Thank you. Bollocks. Right at the end, I had to choke twice. You may be able to grind on that pipe coming out of his mouth. Yeah, no shit, for much. I've been doing that. I've done that at least twenty. I've done that at least ten times now. I keep dying right at the end when I don't grind on his stupid rail. Still, at least I'm getting better at it.
but yeah, like I said, because of this game and Shadow of the Hedgehog, and um, uh, in some cases Sonic Heroes as well, like I was very intrigued by the character. That's kind of one of the reasons why he became one of my favorite characters in the series. I mean, granted, I can, I can see why people don't really like him that much. I feel like he's one of the most divided characters. Like some, like, half the people like him, half don't. And I can understand both points. I just like how in um, uh, I think I mentioned this when I was doing the Dark Story. I just like how in um, uh, so uh, Sonic Team Racing Overdrive, the um, uh, animated short, um, uh, they made Shadow out to be kind of a dick. Where he was like, um, uh, uh, where like he would do anything to just try and win the race, even like ignore his team members and like run over Eggman's robot pretending to be a cat. I feel like that's the best way we could have done it. And this is actually something that I'm curious about. Is I understand that I'm like, I'm like, that they're trying to drift away from like the dark elements of it of the series, but. I am legit curious, like, is Shadow still working for Gun? Like, is Gun still a thing in the modern Sonic games? Let me ask, like, I thought that was genuinely interesting that Shadow became an agent to the very people that um, uh, killed his people. I'm um, a scientist on the Ark. That was a little ballsy, but okay. So, if there's one thing I will say about Sh Shadow the Hedgehog, like the game, it did it did introduce some of the um, of the gun commander who was who I thought was an interesting character in his own right. Because uh, just to explain, so I don't know if I'm ever gonna stream Shadow the Hedgehog because it, it was never released on PC, and I don't think it ever will, and I'm not trusting an emulator. Um, uh, he was on the arc with. Sorry. I mean, he was on the Ark 50 years ago. He was a child there, and... And he was best friends with Maria as well. So, in a way... He, oh, for fuck's sake, that... I'm not gonna get to it. Right, retreat. Retreat, go backwards! Just wait for it to end. Alright, which side? Oh. Of course he was like right in front of me like that. Like... Also, I know this is the final level, but in all circumstances, I don't think this boss should have been as hard as it was. But then again, like, fi final level of the game, like, you're asking the final level of the game to be easy, like, no, 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 thank you, alright, now this bit kinda sucks. Cause it's this again, but this time there's no gravity. So, in addition of, ha of having to attack the core of a homing attack, which you can't pull off so easily, you are—you have very little control over yourself. So, in other words, um, uh, yeah, this fight is bullshit. And not what I'm a fan of, honestly. I'm still like super gutted that I'm uh, on the first try I got to his last hit point and choked. And the worst part is that that keeps happening. I keep getting him down to like, the very to like the very last parts of his health. Sometimes even the very last hit, and I choke.
Also, I like that Omachao keeps giving me hints on how to do the first phase of the fight and not the last phase of the fight. He's gonna do the um, orbs instead. He's still it's smart for like a boss to like wise up to your to your tricks. Like he's not letting you grind on the rails anymore. Like you need to find a harder method to um, hit him. It's like oh. no, 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 don't you dare! It's like that makes sense. <laughs> I just wish. It was better implemented. I can keep my distance. Oh. oh, by the way, I should also point out, don't go too... The reason I haven't been going at my full speed to avoid him is that if you go too fast, he'll t you'll have to start dodging his tail instead. And, um, uh, obviously, that that's harder. Oh. Okay, may maybe not obviously, but still. Also, I'm getting sick of, like, my, like, my homing attacks missing. Like, it's called a homing attack. Meaning, it homes in. kind of annoyed by that, of how easy that was. This might sound familiar to some Sonic Adventure fans. The servers are the seven chaos. Chaos is power. Power is enriched by the heart. The controller is the one that unifies the chaos. Only you can do this. Stop the chaos emeralds. Space colony still on a crash course to Earth. Sonic. Here it comes. Super Sonic, Super Shadow. The 
final hazards. As Eggman said, we need to hit those cores. Yeah. Also, this is pretty damn awesome. The problem is, much like Super Sonic and Super Shadow, well, much like in any other game, Super Sonic has a limit: 50 rings. Getting hit doesn't hurt you or make you lose rings, you just lose time. Uh, don't start doing this to me now. Got ya! Yeah, anytime you swap to another character, well, swap the scene Sonic to show, your 50 rings will refill. Are you okay? Here I come, you creep! Also, I'm a bit of a confession. This is the first time I've ever seen Super Con Super Sonic in the games. Oh yeah, I'm a. If you fly, if you fly past the Bio Lizard, you'll swap places with the other one. It's in case you like run to. It's in case you run out of rings and you need to like refill them. Just switch to another Hedgehog. Last hit. And yet. Sonic Shadow, everyone here is rooting for you. Good luck and give them trouble. Last hit. First try. This is what you wanted, right? This is my promise I made to you. Bit of jumping here and there. Where is Shadow? Do you really think that the professor created him or Shadow? To carry out the revenge on all those who live here on Earth? He was what he was. A brave and heroic hedgehog. Who gave his life to save this planet. Shadow the Hedgehog. I guess you're right. As a child, I looked up to my grandfather because of all the great things he accomplished in his life. He was my hero, and I wanted to be a great scientist like him. But... Did he really mean to destroy us? I don't know, but what I do know is... We all did it together! You're right. So what's next for you, Rouge? Off again to find those jewels you love so much? 
Nah, I think I'm gonna give up this line of work. Too much work for too little pay. Anyway, I've got something better than jewels that I'm thinking about right now. It'll all work out. You'll see. If you say so. Created the ultimate life form. What's the matter, Sonic? Oh, it's nothing. Come on, let's go home. To the planet as cool and blue as me. Sayonara, Shadow, the Hedgehog. And that's Sonic Adventure 2. We're finally done. This has been a blast through and through. <laughs> I will openly admit that the clunkiness was the biggest issue with this game, but I grew up with this game and I loved it to death, so I can't hate it too much. But um, uh, I feel like my frustrations with this game was justified. But yeah, now it's pretty obvious that Shadow's not dead. Um, uh, He's in like a lot of other Sonic games in future. Like, now I'm a, if I'd have played, sorry, if I'd have done that for longer, um, uh, they would have mentioned that um, uh, Shadow was new to the, um, to the super form and he was using up too much energy because he wasn't familiar with it. Like this was his very first time going super, whereas Sonic has had plenty of experience with it before, so. That's why I'm, uh, when the two used Chaos Control, Shadow fell to Earth, because he used everything he had. And the reason he survived the entire time is because one of Eggman's robots, like, caught him before, um, uh, I'm assuming he reached terminal velocity. He took him to a secret base and um, uh, made the robotic clones that we would see in Shadow the Hedgehog and at the end of Sonic Heroes. But yeah, and um, uh, also, I, I feel like I didn't finish my sentence, um, uh, yeah, when I was playing Sonic Adventure 2 for the first time, that was the very first time I saw Super Sonic, because I was never good enough at the 2D Sonic games, um, uh, to get all the Chaos Emeralds and see Super Sonic, so it was a complete mystery for me from start to finish. Now, granted, I was familiar with Super Sonic in the comics where he was like this weird psychopath that was invincible so I always thought that was um uh like I thought that was canon to the comics only so when I saw Sonic um uh use the Chaos Emeralds and transform Golden but he didn't have the psychotic look in him I was like I was kind of mind blown but yeah uh, this has been a really fun game, and I'm really glad I got. I am uh, finally sat down and um, uh, got a chance to play it. However, I'm going to um, uh, take a short break. When we do, we'll be doing what I've been excited for the most to do, and where I spent presu I want to say about 400 hours. Um, uh, on Chow Garden. I'll be going into further details later, but for now, I'll see you later. Take care.